because periods make human life possible. Yes. It's potentially one of the most natural biological processes of life, and yet history and society has built up the stigma that makes menstruators feel so ashamed. Yes. It makes us feel like there's something wrong with our bodies. We're taught that period blood is this contaminable, like disgusting dirty, thing. Nasty. Dirty, nasty, yes. And I think that it always breaks my heart to hear so many stories every day of young menstruators who get their period and have never heard about it. Yeah, right? The irony of sitting here talking about, oh, we don't want to shame women for having their periods and then also shaming them by calling them menstruators. This chick is so unaware. It's a year of like realizing stuff. <laughs> Me and my friends are just like realizing things. Kane's got to go die for it. In the meantime, welcome to the show. Dana Lash here with you. Your lovable curmudgeon. Pretty rowdy today. No, I got these vibes. Do you got it? I have those vibes. This vibe right here. And I feel like this year is really about like the year of just realizing stuff and everyone around me, we're all just like realizing things. <laughs> like, whoa. I got the same vibe from that. So she's, so this, uh, if you're listening to the radio program, which you can listen coast to coast, you can stream it or you can watch the simulcast on YouTube, always discussion there, Facebook, Channel 347, Direct TV. This is a women's health CEO and her company has their own pads for periods. Sorry, guys. I have to live through this, so you got to go with it with me. And they wanted a period-positive, gender-inclusive brand. I'm going to say this one more time. Y'all dudes, if you are bleeding down there, please see a doctor. Don't buy a pad, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't mean you suddenly have, you know, da da da, da vagina. That's not, what, that's not what's going down. Okay, that means you are injured, my friend. You are injured. <laughs> so she's, she keeps calling them menstruators. Menstru while she's simultaneously saying that we shouldn't look at it as like a bad thing. You know what? Just because there's there's the thing about having dignity, right? Can we stop pretending that having dignity is a negative? There are a lot of things that are completely biological, natural acts. But that doesn't mean you do it all out at the dinner table. You know what I'm saying? Like, what in the world? Why did this? Why do you have to? Are you just we have too much damn free time. For people to be so obsessed, let me find my next cause, my next pet cause. Good heavens. Stop it. So she, we played audio sound at 11. What is this 10? So this is her company. And she keeps, oh my gosh. So this is an actual thing. She yeah, she continues. <laughs> August to me is the result of spending years in the space identifying pain points, whether they be around sustainability, like mm -hmm. I grew up hating pads. Most pads have enough plastic for like three to five plastic bags, right? Yeah. So very scratchy, very uncomfortable, but also Who wanting a much period positive, gender inclusive brand. So okay, we are August, wanting a gender inclusive name. On the back, it says we're here for everyone who menstruates. Uh -huh. And I think especially in this age of transphobia, it really means a lot to us to be proudly a gender inclusive brand. But Everything we about the like product, we try to be super thoughtful about from uh, how we design it to be as comfortable, as absorbent oh, as possible, gosh, but also as sustainable those. as possible. So, yeah, so with the water, what, what, I, I, I'm not sure what's happening here. What, I get to do a fun little... Uh, this is content on the news. <laughs> Somebody actually had this idea. Is that, well, what makes your pad brand different? That's her only thing. We're for everybody. Well, couldn't anybody use pads and make them for everybody if you wanted to play pretend? Here, just, just roll with me for a second. Yeah, but we put it on the box. That's your big thing? Uh-huh. So you're not like any different. You're not any better. You're just pretending that you are. Like you're pretending that your product, product can actually be used by men and women. Because, again, dudes, if you're bleeding there, seek help. See a doctor. Stop it. Oh, man. Chicks like this don't help. You know what I mean? They don't help. Like, as women, we are fighting this battle against being erased by progressives who want to patriarchally, which I'm making up, they want to, in a patriarchal manner, appropriate the female sex, and all these third waivers like this broad are helping them. It's a pad. It's for everybody. I mean, this is just... Can you imagine being on Shark Tank? So here's what makes our... Our product different. So wait, you're a pad. Uh-huh. So you're like the always or the Tampax pads. 
with always pet. You're like those, like the things with the wings and the stickies and all that. You're like that. Yeah, but we're different. How are you different? Are you made the same way? Uh huh. But how are you different? Well, we're for everybody. What do you mean everybody? We're inclusive. Well, couldn't everybody use the product that ex the products that exist already? Yeah, but we put it on the box. Because you think people are so damn stupid that you're going to have a man pretending that he's bleeding from his nether regions in the aisle at the supermarket looking at all the products going, well, this one says it's for all. Maybe it's penis shaped. I don't know. <laughs> you know why the aliens haven't revealed themselves to us? Because this stuff, would you? Imagine you were an alien on a planet and they all go bananas. Okay. And, and you got the lady aliens that are pretending they are the dude aliens and the dude aliens pretending that they are the lady aliens and the dude aliens that want to alien feed the baby. I mean, oh my gosh. Would you really at that moment go, this seems like the best, they seem stable. This is the time I'm going to reveal my existence. Would you choose that point in time? I wouldn't.